Hey guys, it's Woody here over at USA Made Blade, and just coming to you from the shop today. Um, this this video is kind of different for us, uh, and it stems from we do an Instagram live feed every Thursday night, and today's Friday. And it, during the feed last night, quite a few people were talking about uh, detent issues, past and present, with hinders. And we know it, before we were ever a hinderer dealer, there were definitely some detent issues um, as as far as the detents being a little weaker. And, but since I've been a hinder dealer, which is over three years now, we really haven't seen any detent issues at all. Some detents are a little lighter, some are a little stronger, but, but it's definitely not something that's, that's a flipping issue. Um, excuse the pun with that. But uh, anyway, so we've had some that have come back in from people, and it's pretty rare, but we've had a few people ship them back and say they couldn't flip them right. And I'll pull them out of the box, and 99% of the time, there, there's no issue. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you technique or anything else because for each person how they hold a knife or how it feels in their hand um, might make a difference. But my technique, and not that you need to copy it, I usually just get my finger on the frame and it's a light switch motion. I've got a strong flipper finger so maybe that, that helps me out. But, um, but anyway, what we're going to do here to just kind of show that personally for me I've never really had many problems. Uh, flipping a hinder. Now, the working finish and some that are coated uh, sometimes have a little bit more of a break-in period, but for 99% of the time, new out of the box, I still have no issues. So this is our new hinder display. We've got a big uh, event coming up on November 18th. So we're kind of rearranging some things, but our bottom two cabinets have been completely uh, set up. Ronnie, who's filming right now for me, and, and Ellen set them up. So we're just gonna randomly start grabbing some hinders out of here. And there, there is no, I'm trying to hold this up, there's, there's no rhyme or reason um, as to which ones I'm going to grab. We're just, you know, set up as some of them got knocked over. Um, we're just going to grab some here. Let's get uh, Jurassic. And these up here are the new slippies, so you can't really flip those. And then the other side, the other booth or display is all half tracks. Grab, let's just get a work and finish right there off the top. Let's get one of these black, battle black ones. Uh, let's show off some of our anno work. Um, let's get a work and finish, work and finish full tie as well. Um, I think that's a good mixture of them. And we'll just grab, let's grab a full tie, battle black as well. So, what do we got up here? Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven hinders. So, what we're going to do is just get these closed up. And from there, I'm going to run through and just flip each one. Ooh, that's that gray DLC. Um, and usually DLCs are a little, uh, especially that gray is usually a little tighter. So let's see what happens here. I'm literally just going to start this end down here with this Jade uh, Jade Ghost Jurassic, and we'll work our way across and, and see how they all flip. And uh, it, we're doing this in one shot, so uh, it'll be what it'll be. Oh, that's not a Jurassic, sorry. They all flip great. Um, so, you know, I, I challenge anyone who's in the area, if you want to come by the shop, you want to pick out any hinder uh, for me to pull it out and flip it, or, you know, you're here in the shop, so put it in your hands. Uh, we're, we're happy to let people do that or, or ask us to test one out. If you're curious about how strong the D10 is or how well it flips, I, you know, always call us or shoot me an email at scott at usmadeblade.com. I'm happy to check a knife before we send it out. We do it all the time for our customers. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it. I appreciate you watching. All these knives and plenty more hinders are available at usmadeblade.com. And as always, thank you for watching.